In this video, we're going to learn how to solve a linear equation, which means an equation with a variable in there, and we try to find out what this unknown variable is. So um, a word problem like this can be solved by uh, an algebraic equation very easily. So a number times 5 plus 7 is 2. Find the number. Without using algebra, we may still be able to solve it. So for example, you can try to guess what the number is, say what is the number equal to 1, uh, 1 times 5 uh, plus 7, well, it's 12, it's not a 2, so it's not a 1. Um, it can be 2, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 7 it gets bigger, so it probably it's going to uh, maybe pick some negative numbers. And of course, you can do that, but there is a quicker way, much quicker way, is we're going to turn the sentences, turn the word problem into mathematical symbols, as we talked about in the previous video. A number, any unknown number, we can always use a variable, a letter, uh, to, to represent it. So let's say x. You can use any letter you want. Times means times. 5 is 5, plus is plus, and 7 is 7. Is, is means equal sign and 2. So if I put these x times 5 together, and I usually we like to put a number in front of x. Again, x times 5 equals 5 times x. So I'm going to put a 5 and x together plus 7 equals 2. So we end up with this equation, and this is called a linear equation, and we're going to solve for x. So in order to solve equations like this, we're going to look at some properties. So a equation, because it always has an equal sign, and uh, a equal sign can be considered as a balanced scale. So if we uh, here we have four properties that will help us solve the equations uh, like these to get x by itself to figure out what x is, and the first property says we can add a number, any number add a number to both sides of the equation. So it's very important that we add it to both sides and, when, and not change the equation. We can subtract a number from, again, both sides, and we can multiply a number, again, both sides, and we can divide a number, also both sides. So these four operations, plus, minus, times, and divide, and has these four operations have to be done to both sides. So we can never just do one operation to add a number to the left hand side without doing anything to the right hand side. OK, so equations can be considered as um, balanced scale. For example, and this the left hand side has six pounds, right hand side also has six pounds. So this scale, because it's balanced, can be written, described by a mathematical equation as 6 equals 6. And notice that if I add a 2 to the right-hand side, so we started with 6 equals 6. If I add a 2 to the right-hand side, it's going to be turned into 8 pounds. And the left-hand side, if we don't do anything, stay as a 6, it's not going to be equal anymore. And notice that the right-hand side is heavier, so it's going to be tilted, and that's not an equation anymore. So in order to keep the equal sign from the beginning to the end, we must ensure we do the same operation to both sides, plus 2, plus 2. So this is the first property that I talked about. We can add the same number to both sides. And why do we want to add a, a number to both sides? Um, we will see in the following examples. And same thing, for the second operation, we can also take away some weight from one side but again if you only do that to one side it's going to be uh, tilted so make sure whatever if you're going to take away two from the left hand side also take away two from the right hand side to keep it balanced to keep the equal sign same for modification so if you have balanced scale and let's say we double the right hand side times two again it's going to be hef heavier it's not going to be equal anymore but if we also do the same thing to the left hand side it's going to be balanced, so the equal sign can stay. And the same, finally, for the division operation. So if we divide one side by two, which means we cut the weight by half, and that's going to be lighter. And again, it's not going to be balanced. 
but we want to keep it balanced. So we have to, if you divide the left hand side by two, you must divide left right hand side by two. So these, um, I use the balance scales to explain um, those four four 